It's about time I actually did um, a video on this. I made this book a long, long time ago, and I talked about how I made the pages and all that, and I'll include a link in the description below on how I did that and to that video, but this pretty much has not been worked on for over a year, and I have filled it quite a bit, and so I'm kind of thinking maybe it, it's possibly done enough. You know, people have wanted to know what I do with some of my books that I make. And this this one, I happen to have filled quite a bit. And it's very heavy, very big. It's about um, 12 by 14. And you can see it is very, very fat. So, I'm going to show you the inside of this book and what I did with it. This book was made for holding my favorite types of foods, um, different brands that I wanted to remember, the taste of something, things like that. So uh, it's made entirely out of Trader Joe's uh, bags and I, you know, cut out pieces of the bag and added it into the inside and decorated my cover and whatnot. So the first page is just the marker point and all these have pockets on the top. So each page has its own internal pocket. So I made an intro page here that says food and yum and I did collage on that and I, and I wanted to have a separator so I added separators to my book with um, tabs from cereal boxes believe it or not and then I stamped my category on those and glued them on. So. The first page, I uh, included some Trader Joe's flyers in the pockets, and I do this throughout the entire book so I can remember what they had, and I like looking at all the funny pictures they include in their weekly flyer at Trader Joe's. And right here is this little plastic pocket that I held a gift card thing in, and it's just blank, and I figured I could use that for something eventually. just haven't yet. So that goes in there. That's from Trader Joe's. And I have the uh, first section where I include other products from Trader Joe's and I write about them on the inside and have room for pictures and stuff if I want to. So I talk about all these cheese crackers and I talk about um, these and a little more writing. And these were added in with the thread method, which I found later to be a bit of a nuisance. But you can still find out how I made those and I'll also include that in the description below I showed how I did these so more writing here I talk about it and lots of writing here this is really good actually I like this brand so I wrote about that here and then I included another brand that I tried here this one actually I think was from Trader Joe's yeah and I even included like a printout thing here that tells about how I mix up the powder of the cheese packets to make it more gooey before I add it. On this page I talked about black olives and um, another Trader Joe's flyer. Added some sugar thing that I liked and I included writing in here about that. And um, I also included labels that were not from Trader Joe's and stuff like uh, different farm, farm, local farm food, like yogurts, and then favorite mustards, which is what that's about. So I wrote, I wrote about stuff there. And then here, um, I left room, and I put a card in here to write and add stuff to. And then also this, talked about yogurt and a type of xylitol that was actually good. Talked about cheese. I really like these cheeses, so I added that in. And I will note that throughout the whole book, when I tried to glaze things to protect the paper, I found that the glaze I used wasn't very good, so it um, ended up sticking to things and kind of ripping, and I kind of uh, had to find out new ways and new things to use for glaze and glue. So this actually was a good project for me to figure out that sort of thing during my work. And here we got things about these crackers that I eat all the time, also from Trader Joe's. And um, ah, 
the threads are catching. This is why the thread method ended up being a bad idea. So, just let me adjust that real quick. Yeah, the thread method was a not so great idea with um, book rings. It kind of caused some problems. Yep. Okay, so I talked about different sausage. I like packaging, and I wrote along here about that. And um, different types, different brands. I talked about the prosciutto, and I added a description down here and a couple pictures printed off the internet. Um, favorite salsas. I added a page in for that. And also a favorite tortilla chip. Man, this kind is really good. It's sweet. So I added that in, and I think, yeah, I added a paper clip here. And, um, added some writing about it inside. Then I kept it shut with a paper clip. Yeah. Do you remember what that was like? Then I included different pizza boxes with pockets in them and I wrote about the different kinds of pizza that I'm allergic to or the kinds that I liked and could tolerate and um, yeah, I have these little sections here and there. This is also a neat way to remember box art before they change it, which the Culinary Circle pizzas did change their box art so I'm glad I actually did keep some of the types to remember. These are sub bags from places that I like the taste of the sub. And then here, I have um, a couple more flyers. Different flyers. And I wrote about a favorite burrito here. And also, I added a bag of, from a pistachio. This is, was a pistachio bag. And I added in a note about how these taste and what they're good with. Then I also made pockets. Out of um, Trader Joe's, a Trader Joe's flower bag, and added in that stuff. And I talked about other foods like golden curry from the Asian store that I liked, um, macaroni and cheese that I liked, and here's another pocket here that I haven't added anything to. And this was a uh, gift card holder that I added in, and I wrote about stuff like this chowder here and added in more of the flyers and I also wrote about this which this was a recipe from Trader Joe's that we got at the sample counter so I kept that and then I wrote about that here and then I also added some labels of my favorite Asian noodles which extends into the next page you can tell I really like these and um, yeah, I added some notes here, even added the little soft packet here, and those lift up, and I even added some of the powder to a bag, and, um, there's another spot with a couple more flyers, and I talked about chicken broth here, this bag, the pocket and I liked those noodles and so I added the sauce packets and a card explaining what it tastes like and why I liked it. So I just I taped those in there with um, thin duct tape. Then I talked about beef jerky over here. And I don't I didn't have to add much. I talked about this um, beef jerky stick, and then I talked about the main beef jerky that comes in this bag, which I thought was fun because it has a window in it, so you can see your so you have something in there. There's a couple more pockets. Check with washi tape. Then on this side, I added um, there's this tag from a grocery bag that I added. And that slips into this page pocket here. Um, and I also added this greeting card. Uh, yeah, the um, an old 
gift card. And here are a few more funny flyer images that I've collected over the years. And I also talked about beef burritos up there. And there's still room to write some more or add some pictures. And I talked about my favorite seafoods, which over here I talked about my favorite type of oyster brand, smoked oysters, and also my favorite type of fish, sardine, filet brand there. And I also talked about more yogurt here. And another pocket separator. And then I get into the uh, drinks section, which is still relatively empty. It doesn't have much writing, but I've collected labels of different drinks I've tried and liked. So, I added these to pages and glazed them over, and I still haven't added descriptions. And there's a separator. I talked about a blueberry juice I liked, and uh, my favorite from a Gatorade. And then there's a section on Trader Joe's root beer, which is really sweet. And there's also more soda brands and also a seltzer brand that I liked. And th again, I still need to write about stuff in here. I haven't done it. Uh, more... Virgil soda type things, and also a fruit drink, which I kept the bottom of as a tag. You can write on the back. And, um, yes. I also get into the ale section, and I have this, which was just a, a drink, a bottle holder, and I liked, I liked the look of it. When I talked about this, brand of um, beer and I also have these different ale labels which I like the look of and all of these woodchuck hard cider ale that I liked the taste of and um yeah this is the back and this is the end of the book this is the very back of the book and then the very end so yeah, this is pretty much filled and pretty much done, excluding maybe a few writing spots here and there and some places to add pictures. But I finally got to show you that, so thanks for watching.